What's up buddies, today let's talk about Junior Eurovision 2021. Let's start from the beginning. This year Junior Eurovision had 19 participants and took place on 19th of December. Coincidence? I don't think so. Armenia with Malena won this year's desk after receiving 6 more points than Poland that came second. If I said that Armenia's victory surprised me, I would tell him a big lie. Malena's victory didn't surprise me at all. She was the big favorite since the day one, before her song was even released. By the way, Armenia finished third in jury voting and first in the online voting, so fans decided the winner. Before, I said that Armenia's victory wasn't a surprise, and now I'll explain you why. Of course, and I mentioned that, Kami Kami is an amazing song and Malena deserved this victory. I will just explain to you why this victory was evident to come. The Junior Eurovision voting is totally different than the Adult Eurovision voting. In contrast to Adult Eurovision, which is watched by the majority of the world's population, the Junior Eurovision is followed, monitored, voted on and determined the result by the most fanatical and active audience. And who does this audience consist of? Of all those people who daily express their opinion and support through social media. Of course, there can always be surprises, but the power that Malena's song seemed to have behind it, it was so big that it made it almost impossible not to win. Whenever through social media, in most cases, you can easily understand who will stand out and who will not do as well. So, the victory of Armenia is not surprising. A victory, of course, which was worth it, and she presented us something completely modern, fresh, and showed a huge professionalism, even though she's just a little kid. By the way, I really want to mention that the quality of all the performances was so high, and really congratulations to all of the people who worked on this. Surprises happened, of course, and many in fact, some positive and some negative. Let's start with the positives. Georgia is the biggest wow surprise of the night. Georgia finished fourth with 163 points additional. Nicolos and his happy song show that in the final is a children's contest and must have happy children's songs. Other positive surprises? For sure France, Azerbaijan, Ukraine, Kazakhstan, even Portugal who finished by the way third in online voting. We also have some big surprise but in a bad way. I'm not here to judge someone's vote, I'm just mentioning some surprises we did not expect based on the background and the support that the songs seemed to have. In my opinion, Italy was the biggest surprise of the night. Before the show, Italy was one of the biggest favorites but finally finished in low 10th place. The only explanation I can give is that because Italy won the Adult Eurovision with Moneskin, the audience wasn't in the mood to vote for a rock song again. The 10th place, however, is a big surprise. We could include also Russia, North Macedonia, Spain, Serbia and of course the Netherlands, who sadly finished last. Ayana, if you're watching this, don't worry, we really enjoyed your performance. Surely we have to say a big thumbs up to Sarah James from Poland, who was really amazing and came so close to victory. You really touch our hearts with your lovely song and you are also a winner where you arrived. Now for some unacceptable events in an attempt to politicize this celebration I will not mention. I'll just say that Malena and Sona, two little girls, gave us a life lesson for love, humanity and thank you so much for that. Guys, please say no to racism. Just no to racism. That was today's Let's Talk. Thank you for watching and hearing. Comment how we say love in your language and of course where are you from. See you soon. Bye bye.